Hello and welcome to our first update for the web forms in 2021. Today we're going to take a look at the stock control module and the additional functionality which will now be available from the web forms. The overall appearance of the forms remains the same, however users can now access a few new options when looking at the list view for the stock control module. Stock items can now be created on the go using the new button at the top left. First, you will need to enter a code and a name for the item. Then you will need to select a product group, which just like the desktop version, will complete several other fields on the item's record. A few additional details should be entered here like the buying price, the stocking unit and the VAT rate. You can also now control the locations from the web forms, allowing you to add warehouses and then add the bins with the relevant priorities too. The analysis tab is going to allow you to assign analysis codes to the item and also set those default nominal codes. In certain instances, items will be coming from particular suppliers. In this case, my mouse weights are coming from just one supplier, who we have a good relationship with and therefore we've got a better buying price. To highlight this and to help with future orders, I can add the supplier to the list. When adding a supplier, the web forms are going to need to know a little bit more detail, like the lead time and the price of the item from this particular supplier. And you can add multiple suppliers if you need to. The alternatives tab will allow you to add in items which could be selected in place of this item if it wasn't available. I don't have any alternatives currently in place for this item, so I won't select one, but you can see from the drop down menu, it would allow me to choose from any other item I have already set up. The cross-selling tab will allow you to enter items which are commonly bought alongside this one, helping users to get the most out of their sales conversations. You can add multiple alternative or cross-selling items to an item record. Lastly, you can now access the memo and comments tab for the items when creating them in the web forms. Whilst it's great to be able to fill in every detail manually if we needed to, there will be times where a new item needs to be created but it is very similar to an item that already exists. This is why the new button from the stock control module list view now has a drop down menu, which includes an option to duplicate. When duplicating an item, the highlighted item will be the first one to appear. You can change which item you're duplicating using the drop down menu. This will pull the details through from the details tab of the item and you can choose which other features can be duplicated too. The new item record will then be displayed once you select the duplicate button. You can see the details I asked to have duplicated are now on the new record and I just need to add in a stock item code and a name in order to save the new record. There are also two new forms which can be accessed from the stock control menu. One which will allow you to view, add and amend suppliers who are linked to a particular item. And the other form will allow you to see all of the locations where a particular item is stored. Again, you will be able to add and amend the details here. Lastly, the stock item list will now allow you to amend the items if changes are needed or you can simply view the items if you just want to check a couple of details. The web forms are constantly being developed, so you can expect more features in the near future. This update could be used by warehouse staff on the go to add in new products arriving on the day, or by a company buyer to add items to the database for which they've just secured a nice price for. Each update will unlock more potential for the businesses. So keep an eye on the roadmap for what's to come. You can also have your say and let us know what you would like to see in a future update. There are a few more features being added in alongside this on the update and I'll leave a link in the description for the videos covering the nominal customer and supplier record changes.
Have a play with the new web forms when you get a chance, and we hope you love the features as much as we do. That's all for now though, so until next time.